Alright guys, so um, today we're gonna take a look at the uh, Kronos Explorer. We did have uh, quite a few questions earlier from uh, from some of our uh, Discord members. There was a particular project a lot of us were uh, invested in and uh, at the time there was uh, quite a few decently sized uh, cells and some of the members were uncertain whether or not it was the actual team selling their tokens. Uh, so at the time I investigated it for them using the Kronos Explorer. And um, uh, basically I told them I was going to make a tutorial on it later. So, so they can do this themselves because it's quite a valuable uh, thing to be able to do, right? You can find out quite a lot using just the Explorer. So I have found a wallet that has... Uh, done the most basic things and we can go through the basic functions first and after that we can go through the process of uh, seeing a big cell and then going through the investigation process um, all right so <clears throat> if we look at um, so, so now i'm just in in a wallet right so i see everything all the transaction this wallet has done and uh, we're ju just gonna look at a few basic ones here. So uh, this first one, um, we can see on the tag here, it says swap exact ETH for tokens. We can also see that it says Krono swap router and uh, we can see the value is 900 Kro plus a transaction fee. So just from this information alone, we know that this is a simple token swap from one token to another Kro to something listed on Krona. Uh, if we go into this uh, transaction, so we can see this uh, this wallet swapped 900 Kro for 540 Krona. And um, the next one here, we have um, one saying approve. There's no value being traded, just a simple transaction fee. So these are usually just uh, approving the use of a contract. And here we have one that says add liquidity ETH. We see uh, there's 899 Kro and a transaction fee. We also see the Krono swap router is involved again. If we go into this one. So here we see there's kind of uh, four different uh, uh, lines here going on so but just looking at the basics you don't need to uh, kind of understand everything you can just see that uh, there is uh, 899 crow and 540 krona being provided as liquidity into the liquidity pool so these two amounts should be the same in uh, dollar value at the time of the swap at least uh, so again, this is just a transaction um, to provide liquidity to the pool. And the next one, we have uh, one saying deposit. And we see there is a master chef uh, contract, no value being traded, just a fee. So these ones usually are, um, if you ever provided the liquidity, you know that um, First, you have to provide liquidity uh, via the DEX, which was the previous transaction we saw. But then after, if you want to get the APR from, from the actual uh, website of the product, you also have to uh, deposit your, you have to c confirm the liquidity you provided in order to gain APR. So that is uh, what, what this is. Um, do we have something else? Uh, deposit, no, withdraw, it's yeah, that's uh, just the opposite. So here it deposit, here it's withdrawn. And uh, earlier we saw, um, where was it? Here, add liquidity it, and here we have li remove liquidity it. So we added the liquidity, then removed it again. And uh, then the tokens were swapped back to Crow. So that's pre pretty straightforward, right? So you actually mostly just need to 
you can look at this overview in their wallet and you can see these tags here and the value usually that tells you enough sometimes you have to actually go into the transaction themselves but okay so uh, let's say you're on the dex screener and you're looking at a particular project and you see some quite huge uh, cells coming in um, I don't know if there actually is a it's not any huge cells here right now so just you let's use an example wallet let's use uh, this one so uh, let's say this guy had a recent quite a big swap pair it could be this one um, so we know already know about this one uh, what I first would do is uh, go through the history and look for any other big swaps um, from the uh, same token so um, after you've done that you can go into the actual uh, Krona contract which is um, right here you post that into the Explorer and uh, you have two tabs here one uh, being named token transfers and one uh, called token holders so if you go to the actual token holder site, you can see all the addresses holding X uh, percent of the token supply. So I have the address uh, copied and I paste it and I can't find anything on page one, which is promising. Let's go to page two and there we go. So the particular wallet we looked at holds 0.0014% of the total supply. Uh, so that's not much and basically I wouldn't worry at that point with that wallet um, uh, let's assume the wallet actually ha held a bigger amount of the supply so let's say it was uh, if it's a smaller project it's not normal for wallets to hold around two two to six percent maybe um, so what what you actually should do is go through the the docs of the actual project project and uh, see their official uh, wallets. They do post the wallets that holds uh, x amount of tokens for for example marketing or uh, whatever. And you can make sure that that wallet is not one of the team wallets or if it is. If there is a lot of wallets that's not uh, the team wallet holding a huge amount of the supply that usually could be a red flag that there is a, a lot of whales that got in early and uh, could dump at some point yeah and uh, that is pretty much it if you do have any other other questions about how to use the Explorer uh, type it in the comments down below